So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you some of my top 5 post basketball moves. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training. On this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you some of my top 5 post moves. Now, I, have, I was a post player up until around grade 10 and I still dabbled in it afterwards. I have been six feet tall since I was in grade six. I can remember that because of the double sixes. Now, I was, I've was i been six foot two ever since grade eight. So I have always been tall until I got into high school and everyone else caught up and got taller than me in the post. That's why I no longer really play the post, but I'm heavier now, so I'm playing the post again. Because, well, if you're heavy, you're generally in the post. However, I'm gonna show you some of my top five post moves that you can use to score easier. Okay, so in the post, you're gonna be battling with some pretty big guys. So if you're bigger than your defender, one of the moves that you can use is just a drop step along the baseline. So you get the ball, all you need to do is drop the inside foot, what's along the baseline, towards the rim, bounce the ball with two hands, turn and go up with your left hand. Now, it's the same way on the right, on the other side of the court, except you'll be dropping the left foot. Now, in the second move I will show you, this is something that you can do if you're around the same size as your defender. What this is called is, well, you're gonna get the ball in the post, you're gonna do a hop step to the middle, and you're gonna do a baby hook up. When you do your baby hook up, you're gonna be having your left arm there to protect from the defender from blocking your shot. So, you're gonna get that ball, always triple threat. You're gonna go one step, hop, land on both feet. And when you go up, protect the ball with your left hand and go up with your right to take that shot. Now in the third move, this is a move that you can run if you're a little bit shorter than your defender. Now, you can get the, the ball and the post now you've probably seen Dirk Nowinski do this move quite a bit. Now he was a seven foot one shooter. However, he did play a lot in the mid, mid post as well as the low post. Now what he did and what he's known for is getting that ball and doing a fadeaway. Now I will be doing a video in the future about doing a fadeaway. However, the basics is basically you're gonna take one step away, one dribble, make sure you dribble when you take that step you're going to turn, you're going to face the rim, and you're going to take your shot. Except you're going to be jumping backwards a bit when you're taking your shot. So you're going to get that ball, dribble, and then shot. So there's three moves so far for you. Now, a little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a different move when you do the fadeaway, a little bit of an add-on, is let's say you've done it two or three times, and now he's really knowing that you're going to do that, and he's going to block your shot. What you're gonna do is turn, pivot, take your fake, fake your shot, now take your one dribble and in for your layup. What you're hoping for is to, for him to pass by you when he's jumping to blow your, or block your shot, and now you're gonna be able to get yourself an easier shot because he's out of the picture. Now in the fifth move, now you can only be in the key for three seconds, so this has to be a quick show. If you've got a point guard up top who's able to pass you the ball, show the middle of the key, get that ball, and now you have two different options. This is great against the 2-3 zone or even a man-man defense, where now you've shown to the key, and now depending on which side he's running from, if, you depend, if your defender is still trying to catch up to you from this direction, if he's farther away, just one drop step and in on this side, or if he's still got momentum but he's behind you, go back in the same direction that you came from because his momentum is pulling him that way. Anyways, I hope that you have liked these five post moves. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, let us know in the comments your favorite moves, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video. Yeah.